I remember when I was a kid and I watched Terminator for the first time, it scared the hell out of me. Sure, one part of it was due to my age, but another part was due to the whole grittiness of the film. Fast forward a couple of years later and Terminator 2 comes out and again it retained that grittiness and it was violent and it depicted Sarah Connor as his complete badass. So after that it was assumed that the franchise was over, Skynet had been defeated and the human race was safe. But come 2003, Terminator 3 entered the big screen. And it just went downhill from there. It felt far too polished. There was unnecessary humour and Arnold Schwarzenegger's lines felt like tired products. It was being used over and over again in different situations. Now I'm not even going to touch Terminator Salvation. Instead I'm jumping straight to Genesis. And with that, this is my review of Terminator Genesis. <laughs> So this is the fifth film in the Terminator franchise, and it stars Amelia Clarke, Jai Courtney, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Jason Clarke, and directed by Alan Taylor. Now, Alan Taylor is no stranger when it comes to big budget action. He already has directed a couple of episodes from the first two seasons of Game of Thrones, and he has Thor The Dark World under his belt. So we know the story by now. In 2029, Skynet becomes self-aware and proceeds to annihilate the human race. John Connor becomes an important military leader and fights back. Skynet decides to build a time machine and send back a Terminator to kill his mother first and then John as a young boy. I'm not even going to mention the third film, as Genesis acts as a reboot of sorts and incorporates elements from the first two movies only. So the film starts out the conventional way, with the Terminator going back in time to kill Sarah Connor and the Resistance sending someone back in time to stop the machine and to protect Sarah Connor. But that's as far as the similarity goes, as once Kyle Reese lands in 1984, he discovers that he's in an alternate timeline. Sarah is no longer a naive, fragile woman. Instead, she's a fighter and is protected by a Terminator, which was sent to her as a child. Yeah, I'm kind of scratching my head on that one as well. The film also features John Connor quite a bit more, but for different reasons. However, unlike the trailer, I won't spoil that for you. So as I mentioned, Genesis acts as a reboot, which does a pretty decent job. It sticks to the core mechanics as well as changes a few things in order to keep the franchise feeling fresh. I loved how they recreated certain elements from the first film that kept that whole 80s feel going. The CGI is of course really well done, and the performances are quite convincing. And of course, Game of Thrones fans are going to love Amelia Clarke as Sarah Connor in this film. Yes, the special effects are amazing. The acting is quite good, and with Hans Zimmer in control of the music, that aspect is nailed down pretty well. And that's where my praise for the film ends. The couple of issues I had with the film revolve around the story itself. Granted, the movie is a reboot, so there will be changes, but the whole story felt paper thin and is peppered with plot holes. Now, this is the first film in a new trilogy, so I'm hoping that some of these questions will be answered in the sequels, specifically how the T-800 got there. But it would have been nice to have given at least some clarity in the film. Now, just to touch on the story again quickly, it feels as if Hollywood is more focused on breathtaking CGI and forsakes the story. I also felt Schwarzenegger's character wasn't really fleshed out. He felt too bland, yet too human at the same time, and for some reason, his accent seemed a bit thicker. In all honesty, he just wasn't the same Terminator we've grown accustomed to. Now I said that I wasn't going to mention the spoiler that was shown in the trailer, but... I lied. Now it is revealed that John Connor becomes some sort of Terminator consisting of nanotechnology. He becomes what's known as the, the T-3000. I think it's a really unique idea. I just hate the fact that it was shown in the trailer. The reveal in the movie would have been so epic. It would have made an epic plot twist. Except they, they ruined it for you. So you walk into the cinema knowing exactly what was going to happen. Now, I'm not saying that Terminator Genesis is a bad film. It's a really fun movie with great CGI and great throwbacks to the original series. 
So if you are a die-hard fan, then yes, you should watch this movie. It's just a pity that the story took a back seat in that department. And I still personally believe that Terminator 2 is still the best movie in the whole series. So, with that in mind, Terminator Genesis gets a... 6 out of 10. My name is David Braz and thanks ever so much for watching. If you like what you see and want to see more, then please like, subscribe and share. And comments are always welcome.